All right, so let's get to some of these here. Okay, and I think I think these are these are pretty easy with, um, you know, especially from the end zone. Okay. All right, let's see if I can do this here. All right, so what the linemen should be doing, and you see it out of the, the left side of the line here, predominantly, okay? What I tell them to do is pivot on their heel, okay? They get their split, they pivot on their heel, okay? So just put your weight on your heel and pivot your foot, cross over plant. I don't want them to raise up. You'll see, and again, this is a clinic talk, so I'll tell you what I want, not necessarily what we always get, okay? But I want this guy to plant on his heel, pivot, crossover, plant, and that will keep your split the same. So if you look, all right, we'll try to see if, if that comes true, okay? Pivot, crossover, plant. And of course it went too fast. Okay, hopefully you can see if we were able to keep the split the same as when we started, all right? And then when we finish. So quarterback gives a command, obviously gonna be easier, um, you know, easier in, what's it called, in, uh, in gun. All right, let's just go on to the next one and see if I can get that one to work. Okay, again, this is just our jump. All right. Now, you're going to see a variety of different things. So. Sometimes, especially odd front teams, okay, sometimes, especially with this standard shift, odd front teams won't move, okay? They will handle whatever they have to handle um, with the front, you know, just if they have to change the slant one way or the other, uh, depending on, you know, kind of what, what they have called, uh, they will. What gets them, though, is this is a lot of times when you think about it, the secondary, once they see where their eligibles are, okay, so right here, I paused it for a second. You know, I've got, I've got a tight end and another uh, receiver, a wing or whatever they wanna consider them, three man surface. So I've made my call, okay, you know, obviously the front, uh, you know, maybe a little bit inter interdependent, okay? And, um, you know, they really have to make sure that that, that secondary gets everything on the same page. Because as you see right here, okay, we're going to run motion across, all right, and run stretch behind it. And if you look, 23 doesn't come across with the motion because, you know, for, for whatever reason, he's treated it just like he is locked on the tight end. So again, a lot of times, you know, the, the front may get it right and the front may not look like they're changing much up, but uh, definitely you end up getting the secondary, um, you know, not on the same page. Nice little run right there. All right, let's go on to the next one. And now, obviously, when we go against teams like this, uh, you know, your your SECs, your ACCs, any of the uh, Power Five schools, 
Uh, we're going to give them as much of this as possible. Um, you know, just moving them around, making them think, uh, making them, you know, figure it all out um, at the very last possible moment. Okay. Uh, again, here is here is a great example of the shift, uh, so that we can keep the tackle as the extra protector um, on the uh, naked. All right, and give us a chance. Uh, you know, these these guys had some creatures at defensive end, uh, and it really gave us an opportunity. You know, to kind of get them locked in, and not lose a, um, and not lose a eligible receiver when we when in the route. Okay. So the easy thing for all of this is, is this, is the plays that you want to run out of it, okay, are going to be plays that are, um, you know, mostly gap controlled anyway, just because, you know, sometimes you're not necessarily going to know exactly what they're going to give you. So, again, stretch is one of those plays that it's really – um, easy for the quarterback, you know, if they overload one side, he can he can take it to the other back to the other side uh, with ease. Oh, I put in one of the new ones. Um, sorry, I didn't really talk about this. Let's make sure I have this right. Yep. So uh, what this one is, this is a little bit different. So we didn't uh, I, we didn't go over this with the schematic. I didn't know that I added it, but since I have, I might as well go. Uh, so what we've done is this is it's very similar, but you know we've never really traded the tight end, and I think this is this and this is the reason why I added it. Okay. Why shift instead of just trading the tight end? Okay, this is the rationale. These four guys, or if we were to put a tight end in there, you know, if we were to shift over one man, can literally all shift and get set faster than one man trading. So I think this it shows that example. So if we were just going to take the tight end and move him from the right side to the left, All right, I think you'll see that the line gets set and the tight end is just getting back over there. Okay. So again, you know, this is one of those, this is one of those cases where, you know, when you incorporate it with the tight end trading as well, um, it, you get some pretty wicked things. Again, sometimes they're good. Uh, the majority of times are good. Sometimes you get to where the defense is so screwed up, um, your guys get a little screwed up. All right, so we'll go through this. Okay, so here is, again, all right, the naked. All right, kind of got that in the last one, so we'll just move along. All right, here we go. Okay, so again, for us, you know, this, this one I wanted to show because of um, – you know, you can still shift. So let's see if I can get it back to the very beginning before the shift. So you can still shift and motion uh, with ease. So right here we shift uh, over. And I believe here the tight end is to the right. Uh, let's see if we can get it from the other view. Maybe that'll clear it up. Yep. So the tight end is over here to the, uh, I'm sorry, to the left. And now we'll shift over. 
okay? And uh, again, if you look, you know, we'll be able to shift those guys over. And again, sometimes with just trading a tight end, the action of trading uh, and running all the way to the other side of the formation, it makes it to where, you know, you, you can't necessarily get this guy in motion as well. But here, uh, you know, it really kind of incorporates itself well. So they, we brought everybody over. The eligibles remain the same. Uh, so it ended up looking pretty good. Okay. Look how they shift. We've got no, they've got no edge on their defense. Uh, so, you know, pretty good numbers count. Okay. That's where you really get uh, probably more than anything else. People, you know, get so threatened by the extra tackle to the other side. All right, so again, here's our, here is our uh, shift where we go. Uh, it looks like tackle over. It ends up uh, in tackle over. You know, but uh, again, with the movement, uh, you'll see, I want you to see the linebackers kind of trying to help out the defensive linemen. So, you know, obviously left to their own devices, you know, they're just going to line up because that's where everybody moved, all right? And, um, you know, the, the linebackers have to hurry up right before the play is snapped and get the, the D lineman uh, line back up. Let's see if it'll play through and, and get us to that. And no. All right, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, again, um, it really, really good with right now um, the latest craze uh, with everybody doing, and, and you'll see it here. I'll just let it run through a few times, try to pause it. Uh, you know, three high team, you know, three man line. Uh, they're, tr they're trying to be a three high team. This is, you know, the extra uh, safety fitter you know, that's that's going to try to fit off number three. Well, again, because of the shift, um, you know, it's it's going to put them in a situation where they are, you know, pretty woefully short over there. We get our center up to the play side linebacker, um, and, and we can adjust out there if the tight end. Uh, I, I'm not one of those people that on a clinic talk only puts the good plays. Uh, this is proof of it, uh, the tight end here. Uh, does a very poor job of just maintaining his block, but I think I think you can see if he just does a little bit better, uh, this has a chance to be pretty good. Okay, so again they line up standard standard three high look, all right, to a removed uh, people, all right. The the nose guard shifts over to the three man surface, uh, but they don't move anybody else over, so you know, I have a chance to get the center up, uh, you know, really for for the play side linebacker there. All right. All right. Let's I'm just going to scroll through some of these. <clears throat> 